Hi there, my name is Mark Barabas, your data protection pal. Today I'd like to relate a few news articles with regards to personal data protection, cybersecurity, and how it affects you and I. So on to our very first article for this week. And we look at the article from the Cyber Security Agency of Singapore, and this was reported on the 19th of June 2020. It says that Singapore businesses are among targets of global phishing campaign. And there are emails that are sent to companies that would promise uh, companies an additional $750 from the Ministry of Manpower. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no such support from the government. And the, the CSA in Singapore really wants to warn us. And just in case you do not know what is phishing, phishing is where hackers will attempt to steal data from your company or even scam companies or even individuals using uh, messages, uh, email links in emails, malicious sites. There are several different ways of phishing and do attend some cybersecurity calls to find out more. But please be very aware of the emails you receive and verify the sources before clicking any links. So if you are a business owner, please remember to warn your staff or even be very careful in your own emails. Yeah. So on to the next article. Next article is a global news and it relates to the previous one. Yes, there's been a global attack on phishing and even affects state. And this is an article whereby Scott Morrison, the Prime Minister of Australia, made an announcement just on the, 20th, on the 19th of June that says that the country is facing some sophisticated state attacks. So cyber hackers not just attack individuals and companies, they even are so bold to attack countries. It may be a country-to-country -country attack, we don't know, but really, cybersecurity is real. So ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please ensure that your company is safe, and your, your, your children even are safe, because all of us are online now. The fact that you're watching this video is probably because you're on YouTube, Facebook, or some other video channel on the internet. So the moment you're on the internet, I've got news for you, you are already at risk. So please be very careful when you go online. Which brings me to my next article that is somewhat of a good news, really. So in, on 17th of June, just a couple of days ago, our education minister in Singapore, Mr. Taman Shaburugaratnam, has announced that all secondary school students to get a personal laptop or tablet for learning by 2021 and that is coming really really soon this may come as a good news for several parents in singapore because during the covid 19 period where singapore was on a circuit breaker kind of a lockdown situation we had a lot of students in fact all schools were having this thing called home-based learning where teachers would engage uh, students online through the use of uh, online lessons and there are certainly some challenges in some families where they didn't have a laptop computer or worse they didn't have a, a smart device and that posed several challenges to the learning of our students in school and as an ex-teacher myself I would say then we have to be really we really look into this because how can a, a class of 40 students how can we leave out some uh, students just because they do not have a laptop so this certainly came as good news for 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 several parents and, and moreover you know I, I have friends who have many kids and they share with me that they you know we during the morning session when the children are supposed to go for school and during home-based learning they have to cater for there yeah, are three or four children to study together. Uh, yes, turn on three laptops or four laptops at a time. And more and very often they have to use their work laptops and that begins to become a problem because while the students are supposed to learn from home to the computer, the parents are also supposed to work from home. But because the laptop is being used by the child, they then have some challenges with work. And in fact, it does pose certain security risks because if you are going to be using your own work laptop to let your child use, there may be certain confidential documents or, 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 or connections in your machine and you wouldn't want your child to accidentally delete them or worse, send them out to the wrong people. So therefore, this is 
certainly a good news for many parents. However, however, um, this also poses new challenges because it also means that every single person would then certainly have access to the internet. Is that good news? Of course it is good news. However, we need to prepare our young for going online because there are risks online. Like I mentioned earlier, the moment you are on the internet, you are subject to many, many risks. Cyber risks, uh, phishing, social attacks. So these are risks that we need to educate our young. And that's where I really, really want to advocate this learning and teaching cyber security and personal data protection in the schools right now. Yes, it's so urgent right now because right now, Personal data protection is so big all over the world and because of this COVID-19, the way we handle personal data is really going to be really different. So it's very important we educate youth today now to learn to protect their personal data, the personal data of their friends, the family members, and also to defend against cyber attacks. So this is very important because if these kids grow up not knowing our personal data and especially the, the ethical use of this data, then we are going to have problems in society later. So it is very important we educate them now. So I really want to advocate this. And if there's anybody, any school that would like to support me in this advocacy, let's join together to educate our children, our youth now, so that they become the better professionals for tomorrow. And this is my thoughts and I really want to advocate this. So schools, parents, non-profit organizations, let's advocate this together. So this is Mark sharing. Uh, Mark Barabas, I'd like to thank you for your watch for watching. Please subscribe and continue connecting with us and we'll be glad to also support your company or organization with regards to personal data protection and cyber security. So this is Mark Barabas signing off. Thank you. Have a good day and God bless. Bye-bye.